too. They're really nice and like and they clean up after us and it's like sometimes we can be really disrespectful and leave stuff but they don't ever complain. Like, like what's your favorite part about them? Like what's the most helpful thing about them? That they do around the school or like personally us. Like around the school. Well, personally the girls bathroom's always trashy. They always write it like on the walls and they always paint it and they fix the lock on the door. So that's nice. Yeah, yeah, this is really nice. I mean, they always pick up after everyone and they don't complain about it. Yeah, that's good. It's good. Yeah. Well, they're like the nicest people around school, right? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. That's good. Thank you. Clean up after you. What's your favorite part about Andrew Thick? He can make dubstep. <laughs> dubstep? <laughs> he can't. Have you ever heard it? No. Mr. Fidge has a, a, a recording of Yeah, he's alright. He's helped me out a lot. Cool. Okay, what's, okay, what's your favorite part about Andrew Thick? Every. He's awesome. Okay, what about Beth Cornell? Ooh. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. Like, what's great about him? Like, yeah. Um, very helpful. I yeah, talked to Andrew more scholarships. though. Scholarships. Andrew's yeah. always been my counselor. Beth's always really helpful with my scholarships. She wants one. Who's, to who's gonna see this? They, they are. are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just them. Yeah, yeah it's I love you, Andrew. Yeah. And what's the most inspiring thing they've ever done for you? Do you think? Inspiring. Yeah. Um, he, he's like helped me a lot through high school because I struggled. He helps me with my online, make sure I'm graduating. And... Cool. Search coordinator. What's so good about him? You know, like he's a cool guy, I think. So what do you think he, about him? He's super supportive and um, he's always there when you need him. Um, she was my volleyball coach, so I know her really well. And um, she's super smart. And she's good at what she does. Yeah. Uh, like, what's, has she ever done anything like to inspire you? In what way? Um. Yeah. I guess. What was that? Um. She was like had a almost a 4.0 in college or something. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Yeah. It's really impressive. Yeah, it is. Okay. What's your favorite thing about the counselors? Ah, uh, well, they're. They're cool guys. Yeah, they're um, uh, they're all supportive. Uh, Beth, she helps me out on like schedule changes. That's really nice. If I don't want to take a class. Andrew's really nice about a lot of stuff. Just cool talking to him. Okay, if you could describe the counselors in three words, what would they be? Uh, they're pretty compassionate. They're uh, kind. They're very kind. Um, then very helpful too. Helpful is a definite one. Okay, so Andrew Fick and Beth Cornell, what's your favorite part about them? They're so friendly, you can just go up to them and talk to them whenever you want. They're really nice. Especially Andrew. Wait, oh wait, what, okay, what about the janitors? They're always cleaning up the school and doing a great job. Okay, what's the most inspirational thing the counselors have ever done for you? Uh, Sage was my volleyball coach freshman year, and it was one of the best years of volleyball that we've had. And what's the most helpful thing they've ever done for you? Uh, helped me change up my classes when I didn't like my schedule. Oh, and who was that that helped you? Uh, one time it was Andrew, and I don't remember who did it the other time. Okay, what's, what's the most helpful thing the office people have ever done for you? Uh, well, I was having a hard day one time, and uh, I came in there, and I was kind of like sad. Was cute. And uh, Darla noticed it, and so she took me into one of her offices, and her and I started talking and stuff like that. And anyway, she just made my day better. Um, and also, the attendance lady, uh, and also like the nurse lady at the same time, they were both talking to me and telling me that, you know, things were, you know, like my life would be better and stuff like that. I don't know, it was just really cool to have that kind of support from like an office staff. It was like, I like it a lot, so. Yeah, like is there a certain mood you feel when you get in there? At first, like every time I walk in there, like it's it's kind of like upside, like what you do, like you kind of like, yeah, like, look tight. Bit. And then all of a sudden, um, when somebody helps us or anything, yeah. we just kind of mellow out. But I feel like it's a formal place or something like that, but it's whatever, I guess. So, what's the most helpful thing the counselors have ever done for you? Probably help me with learning about things that are going on in school, like uh, clubs and stuff, and volleyball, whatnot. Like, are they very compassionate people and heartfelt and everything? Yeah, pretty much. They're pretty nice and they help a lot when you need it and they're always around if you need to talk and stuff. Yeah. Okay, what's the most helpful thing the principals have ever done for you? 
Um, Mr. Jackson teaches me valuable life lessons every day in advisory. Oh, and that one time you got streaking, they let you off. <laughs> <laughs> if, is, there, is there a certain mood you get when you like enter the principal's office? Oh, I feel very warm and welcome, and he's just a great guy. He helps so many people. <laughs> okay, what is the most helpful thing the principal and vice principal have ever done for you? Um, when I've had a problem with something, I've gone in and asked for their help, and they went directly and dealt with whatever it was and then came and talked to me. So they deal with things head on, and it's really helpful. And is there a certain mood or feeling you get when they talk to you or you, they, you enter their presence? Um, with Madsen, he's very friendly, so I'm kind of excited to say hello, and Jackson's humor is just... I don't know. His, he has good humor, but sometimes it's hard to deal with it because you don't understand that his serious yet not serious humor. Um. Okay, what's the most helpful thing Mr. Rube has ever done for you? Uh, Mr. Rube, well I like to call him Coach Rube, has uh, he's always been a good help, mostly outside of the classroom, coaching football. So, he's a great coach. And what's the most inspiring thing he's ever done? Uh, he really knows how to um, inspire his players and his students to achieve things that, uh, some noises. Is there a certain mood you feel in Coach Rube's presence? Um, integrity. He seems like a really good person. What's the most helpful thing the janitors have ever done for you? Probably help me with my geometry. Are you serious? I, yeah. Wow, that's sweet. Yeah. Are they really nice people? They're like compassionate too, right? They're pretty cool. I talk to them sometimes when they look bored. What's the most helpful thing the genders have ever done for you? I'm um, moving to her school, look very clean, and have a more positive environment because there's some trash laying around everywhere. And is there a certain mood you feel around them? Like They feel? Or I feel? No, around. you feel when you're around um, them. I feel happy and appreciative towards them because, like I said, they make our school more uh, positive and nice to be around. Okay, what is the most helpful thing the janitors have ever done for you? Um, they cleaned off the gym floors um, before our games, and they helped set up the bleachers. And every day they go around the school and they clean up everything. It's nice that we don't have a dirty school. And if you could describe them in three words, what would they be? Freaking amazingly awesome. <laughs> okay, if you could describe Andrew Fick in three words, what would they be? Kind, caring, intelligent. Cool. And what's the most helpful thing he's ever done for you? He told me about a workshop at the Mertz campus where I did a layout and we framed a classroom. Cool. What has Beth done for you that you like, you know, like that's helped you or something? Beth told me about Jumpstart, where you can start taking community college classes as a junior, and I think I'm definitely going to look into that. If you could describe her in three words, what would they be? Um, kind, caring, and intelligent. Oh my. Okay, if you could describe the office people in three words, what would they be? Dedicated, charismatic, hardworking. And, and has, you know Darla Rush, right? Yes. What's the nicest thing she's ever done for you? Darla? Um, well, there's a lot of nice things. Uh, usually she's kind of, she's um, helping with attendance and she's been really understanding about whenever I've been, you know, late on occasions. And she's been really understanding about the purpose of me being late. So, yeah. Okay, if you could describe Miss Klee in three words, what would they be? Miss Klee, I would describe as positive, energetic, and very, very kind. Okay. Well, what is your favorite characteristic about her? My favorite characteristic about Miss Klee is that she's always willing to help and she's always concerned about the students. What's the nicest thing Miss Klee's ever done for you? The nicest thing Miss Klee has ever done to me is notice me and just talk to me. And just talk about life. We're good friends. My journalism class sometimes, and he always like, says funny stuff. 
and I just think he's a happy person. Yeah. If you could describe him in three words, what would they be? Um, excited and like happy and smart. There's Sage Fitchett in her natural habitat, eating an orange, doing her work. There's Andrew in his natural habitat, doing his work like a real man. He's really good at it. Amen. Okay, what's the nicest thing John Graves has ever done for you? Um, he, you know, he has helped me with applications to different things. If you could describe John Graves in three words, what would they be? Dad. Um, <laughs> Hyper, um, happy, helpful. Okay, if you could describe the genders in three words, what would they be? Um, three words. Like three separate words? Y it doesn't matter. Okay, um, I'd say helpful, um, just because they clean the school and everything, and then um, dedicated because they're here every day doing the same thing, making sure they clean up after us, and then, um, oh, probably, I don't know, um, considerate, because, like, they're, because I know, like, we're pretty messy as high schoolers, so, like, being able to, like, do their job and, like, clean up after us, so, yeah. Yeah, and what's the nicest thing they've ever done for you? For me, I say probably the nicest thing is that, for the four years that I've been here, they've cleaned up after me every time, you know, like anything. Like, one time I was up here and, like, my drinks failed and I was able to, like, go to them. And they were, you know, willing to help me clean it up and everything. So, just that they're here and helping everybody. Okay, if you could describe Maria in three words, what would they be? I think that she seems um, really upbeat and she's just pretty happy to be here, you know. It's a custodian job and that doesn't seem very fun, but she's just happy and nice to be with. So, happy, nice to be with, and upbeat, I guess. And what's your favorite characteristic about her? Um, the fact that, um, I guess we never really, she seems pretty happy to be here to do her job, which isn't very appreciated, I guess, by the students. As a parent and as an administrator, I want to thank all classified staff for what you do, for those students who come to Astoria School District. I know that my family, my son especially, has benefited greatly from the dedicated service that you offer to all the students with whom you work. My son having very tight relationships with many of you. So thank you for those of you who have worked with my son. Thanks to all those who work at Astoria High School who provide everything from math tutoring to direct instructional assistance to working with those students with our life skills classes. You do an amazing work. You have huge impact on those students with whom you work and your efforts and service are greatly appreciated. Thank you for everything you do.